Amy. Today I wanted to share with you what's in my bag. This is my mini flap in the square version and this one in particular is from the Cruise 2017 collection. I do mention this because I feel that all of the minis are more or less seasonal and seasonal in the sense that even though they are a classic shape and they more or less are the same sort of you know turn knob one compartment that type of thing uh, they are slightly different from season uh, to season and i did notice that certain seasons are a little bit smaller and more compact and other seasons are a little bit bigger and vice versa they also change up you know the texture of the leather the color and also the the hardware itself can be a different tone so i do want to mention that just so that you guys have an idea of which version of the mini square i'm talking about i do like this bag because it's so darn cute but i do find it extremely small and at first i was so kind of nervous that it i it, that I bought something that I had to return again or that I have to sell again because it didn't fit very much uh, but luckily as I played around with it and also as the leather softened up and just trying to fit things inside trying to figure out uh, the best configurations and what I can possibly fit inside I'm definitely a lot more comfortable now and I would love to share with you just how I'm using this bag at the moment and also probably different ways uh, that you can probably use it because not everyone will have this exact same things that I usually carry so let's get into it. The dimension of the flap is around 17 centimeters or six and three quarter inches. However, the base of the bag is only 16 and a half centimeters or six and a half inches. The depth of the bag is about seven and a half centimeters or under three inches. When the bag is closed, the top is around one and a half inches or between three and a half to four centimeters. And finally, the strap drop is about 20 inches to 20 and a half inches. For reference, I'm five feet four inches. So here's the bag. Uh, in the back pocket, it's pretty slim um, and kind of tight. So I just put a bus pass or metro card and it's fine no problem i would probably not fit very much more than that i can probably slip some receipts and some cash in here if i wanted to but you know it's more like a convenience pocket and as you can see this is pretty much all i ever carry if i'm really using my vlogging camera as well this is my old vlogging camera and my new vlogging camera is a lot thicker keep in mind that this turn knob here does protrude to the underside of the bag so there's metal parts in here uh, as you can see but as long as your lens is not uh, being damaged by it as long as it's really pushed to the side it doesn't actually touch it which is fine so here's my camera and on this side I have my keys because I always need my keys so this is my six key holder and I have my key fob and a couple keys I even have some cards here in, in the back and I also have my LV card case. I love this one because it's super slim and I'm not worried about scratching it or whatsoever. So this card case, I love it. I mean, if I really wanted to, if I wanted to save space for this, I could put my cards in here, but it's just so much easier to be able to just grab all your cards and find the ones that you need as opposed to trying to, especially if the bag was full, as opposed to trying to kind of like dig your hands in it and then grab whatever card. But you can definitely use these pockets here for like another card that's, you know, for your receipts or for a card that you know you will only maybe use it um, once or twice. Here on the corner, I had my lip balm, or you can probably put a lippy or whatnot. And the final thing is my huge phone. I have the Nexus 6. You may not have as big of a phone as me, but sometimes it helps to just, you know, if it didn't work this way, try it this way because it really makes such a big difference for this bag anyway, for my items anyway. For your reference, the length of my phone is 16.2 centimeters or just under six and a half inches in length with the cover. Okay, so here's another configuration. Let's assume for a second that you didn't actually have a camera and uh, you don't need your card case. Perhaps you just needed a couple cards so you can slip them here. And all you really needed is maybe a smaller phone. So I do have an older phone here and your pochette, your mini pochette, which you can you know store all your miscellaneous inside. And of course your keys. Uh, then yes, so I have my six key here again 
and I do have my mini pochette which has all the little knickknacks uh, so whatever you normally carry in your mini pochette and an a phone this is my old phone this is my Nexus 4 so it definitely has so much more room and it's so much easier to fit a smaller or a thinner phone in this bag so just to show you that the mini pochette does fit definitely does fit you just kind of have to like everything else has to be slimmer because keep in mind you need to be able to close it that's the only issue but let me show you another configuration because so this is my content inside because i know that a lot of you guys don't actually carry a camera and you see what i mean by pushing the flap down i actually kind of pinch the side at the same time i kind of pinch the side at the same time and sort of push it down like this so that I can really close it and not scratch here as much the bottom here and the inside so let's take a look at what we have inside so you will most likely be more normal than me and carry you know the essentials the keys the cards the card cases and the phones so most likely you will have your keys it may not be as bulky as mine but just to show you what can actually fit so I do have my six key holder here on the side here I have tucked in my car keys which is you know kind of bulky actually because they do they do sort of takes up take up space but if you strategically put it you know in, in such a way that the top here you can pinch it to close it because that's pretty much the essentially it's the top here it needs to be able to be slim enough to close uh, that's really all you need to do so they're here on my I have my keys uh, my car keys I mean and then here I still have my card holder which is great because this pretty much acts as my wallet and also here down this side I have a pack of tissues that's already half used so it's quite slim but it's there and down in this corner I always put a lippy or a lip balm in my case uh, so it fits here in the corner here it doesn't really take up space from closing it when you pinch it so that's a great place to hide uh, a small lipstick uh, or maybe not a lipstick actually I don't really know I don't wear lipstick so I, I would probably definitely a lip balm would work wonders and I just wanted to show you guys that I can fit my card holder because I know you guys a lot of you will have the Chanel card holder so they will fit for sure uh, even standing up like this uh, they do they are more bulky so that definitely could be an issue depending on how many cards you have in it or depending on how bulky yours is but it will fit in mine this way and finally I have my phone the same one that pretty much takes up the entire length of the bag like there's literally no wiggle room so that's uh, the last thing inside so as you can see it, it it is a good size it is still small but it is a good size and you can definitely play with the with the space in there as long as your items are thin enough or you kind of figure out a way to position them as you can see this bag is quite spacious at least the version that I have um, but it's still very limiting in a sense that it it is it is quite a small bag and you can see that I really can only fit a number of items that you can count on your fingers but it is possible to fit even the most bulky items uh, that I have anyways uh, it just really depends on how you arrange it and also on whether you are able to pinch this enough to close the flap I kind of pinch it and then I kind of push it from I use, sometimes use my body to push the top part and then I close it so right now it's empty which is fine and also it's it has loosened up a little bit the leather uh, I'm glad that this leather is very durable I feel that it has this nice plasticky coating on top that you know not only makes it shiny but I feel like it will really uh, be scratch resistant which is a very very nice rendition of of this season i really love the rendition this year and the light gold is just very very good because it can be it can pass as a silver or as a gold color depending on the lighting so i do love all these things about it but it is different i know that some of you guys got the same bag and were wondering whether it was for you because it was so stiff as well and so just play around with it do not be scared to do to squish it a little bit because it really does help and eventually with use it will 
sort of loosen up anyway so you're just kind of helping it a little bit hopefully you guys found it helpful i certainly think that by playing around with it sort of doing my own sort of exploration with it it really did help and it made me fall in love with it and i definitely know that it was you know, even though I, I was kind of doubting myself on whether I, you know, made the right decision to purchase a, such a mini bag, but it's such a coveted mini bag that it's so hard to find. Uh, I can safely say that I do love it now and that I can manage to work with it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Amy and I will talk to you again next time. Bye!